Hi everyone, it's Lauren Berger, Intern Queen here. I thought it would be kind of fun if I just tweet it out live while we're doing this and if we see what kind of questions we get back. So let's see what people want to know here. And if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash internqueen. So let's see, I'm tweeting internship questions, period, go. Let's see what people come up with. Our first question, intern queen, I am trying to get an internship, but my resume doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Okay, a resume question, that is good. Now here's, here's my tips and tricks for resumes, real quick. The job posting or the internship posting is giving you the answers, okay? It's like getting the answers to a test. If you read an internship posting and they say, we're looking for someone who's great at social media, go back to your resume and look at it. Does it say social media? Does it say Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anywhere on your resume? If it doesn't, then you're not doing your job, right? You're not tailoring your resume for the job that you're actually looking for. So make sure that you're doing that. Also make sure it's formatted correctly and consistently. Make sure there's not a whole lot of blank space. And then also, I, ha I have a new saying, it's don't let the eyes stop at Starbucks. I have a coffee addiction, I talk about Starbucks a lot. But don't let the eyes stop at Starbucks. And what I mean by that is if you've had work experience, that's great. People wanna see that you know responsibility. But if I'm reading your resume and I read your name, your address, your information, your education, but then I see that you work at Starbucks, okay? My eyes might stop there. I think you have no other relevant experience to share. If you put Starbucks at the bottom, I'd be able to see that, oh, you're involved in campus clubs. Oh, you're the uh, philanthropy leader of your sorority, whatever it might be. You had an internship. Don't let the employer's eyes stop at Starbucks. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, here's one. Intern queen, how do I stay in touch with my internship coordinator? Good one. Now, we know that after the internship, we sent a thank you note, we've gone over that. Now, I have a rule. It's an intern queen rule. You stay in touch with your professional contacts three times per year. For all of you who've heard me speak on your campus, you know I get real excited and I jump up and down about this rule. You have to stay in touch with your professional contacts three times per year. And this isn't just an intern rule, okay? This is for all of you out there working in the real world. You stay in touch with your professional contacts three times per year. You drop them a line, you let them know what you're up to, you ask them how they're doing, wish them happy holidays at Christmas, whatever it is, okay? Um, also, I have a new saying, it's be one of the five. What do I mean by that? Well, I've been running my business for a long time, almost seven years now. We've had an intern almost every semester, okay? So that's over 21 interns that we've worked with since we started this business. Now, when people say, who are your favorite interns? Who are the best interns you've already had? I, I usually talk about five people, right? I ramble off five people. Now, who are those five people? Why am I rambling off their names? It's because they go out of their way to stay in touch. One of them sends me Snapchats, okay, on her, at her new internship. Another always calls me whenever she needs advice. She's really made me a mentor of hers. Others send me cards in the mail. They always call me on my birthday. They send me emails, but be one of the five, okay? Be one of the five people that 10 years from now, your internship coordinator or your former boss is still talking about. I hope that was helpful. We'll do more of these, I promise. Uh, keep tweeting at me and uh, talk to you soon. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the button below.